Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to our monthly webinar. Today's webinar is titled Discover Catch, Early Childhood at JCCs Across the Country. My name is Peter Cribb, and I'm the National Director for the Catch Program at the Michael and Susan Dell Center for Healthy Living at the University of Texas School of Public Health at the Austin Regional Campus. We're in for quite a treat today, but before we get started, I'd like to take care of, a, of a, just a little bit of housekeeping. First of all, our webinar today is being recorded and an archive will be made available on the Catch USA website, along with the PDF and presentation slides. During today's webinar, we encourage you to type in questions and comments via the questions box, which you can access through the control panel on your screen. You can type in your questions at any time, but to keep us on schedule, we'll try to hold off on answering them until the Q&A portion at the end of the presentation. Next, I'd like to share just a little bit about the Michael and Susan Dell Center for Healthy Living. We are an international leader in conducting research and providing programs that promote healthy living for children, their families and communities. Our work fosters improved health behaviours among youth, influences policy and environmental change to support healthy living, and advances professional education and community service. Our vision is healthy children in a healthy world. You can find out a little bit more about our centre and our work in school health on our website www.msdcentre.org. I'm now delighted to introduce our special guest for today's webinar, Steve, McKenzie, uh, Steve Becker and Mackenzie Noda and, uh, and, and others from various sites around the country, which Steve and, and Mackenzie will introduce you to as we move forward. Uh, Steve Becker is the Director of Health and Wellness Services at the JCC Association, uh, where Steve acts as a resource for more than 350 JCCs YM, YWHA and campsites in the US and Canada. Steve is currently working on a continental initiative to help JCCs transition from fitness to wellness. As part of the initiative, he has helped create and focus in on uh, a preschool program, a health program uh, called Discover Catch, and that is currently being implemented in 41 JCCs across the country. Steve is a 2010 recipient of the Paragon Award in the Recreational Swimming category, presented by the International Swimming Hall of Fame. The award is presented for his contributions to recreational swimming throughout the world. I guess when Steve's not in the pool, he also sits on the USOC board for multi-sports organizations. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Mackenzie Noda to you all as well. When Mackenzie started as an intern at JCC Association, she was immediately drawn to the Discover Catch program because of its impact on the lives of young children. Two years later, she is now the Program Associate for Early Childhood Education and Family Engagement and Health and Wellness Services and Program Coordinator for the Discover Catch at JCCs. That's quite a title, Mackenzie. I'd like to see your business card. <laughs> Prior to JCC Association, Mackenzie attended Rutgers University on a Division I scholarship for field hockey and, uh, and, and graduated with a degree in communication and organisational leadership. Welcome, Mackenzie. Thank you. For the past three years, it has been our pleasure to work with Steve, Mark Horowitz, Joy Brand and Mackenzie at the JCC Association to help mould the Catch Early Childhood Program to meet the needs of the JCCs. Today we're going to hear about how the JCCs across the country have taken the program and put their, their own unique stamp on it. Over to you, Steve. Peter, thank you very much. Um, good afternoon and good morning, everyone. Next slide. We want the focus for today's webinar to be on the amazing programs that are happening in the JCC field, thanks to the University of Texas and CATCH. But before we turn the program over to our colleagues in the field, I wanted to give a little background into JCC's JCC Association and Discover Catch. 
Um, I'm sure most of you know what a JCC is, but for those of you not familiar, Jewish Community Centers are organizations serving the Jewish community in a number of cities in the U.S. and Canada. JCCs promote Jewish culture and heritage through holiday celebrations, Israel-related programming, and Jewish education. However, similar to the YMCA's, JCCs are open to everyone in the community. A traditional full-service JCC. Includes, as Peter mentioned, more than 350 JCCs, YM, YWHAs, and campsites in the U.S. and Canada. JCC Association offers a wide range of services and resources, cultural, social, Jewish identity building, and recreational programs for people of all ages and backgrounds. Next slide. So a little over three years ago, JCC Association was looking for a program that could connect early childhood professionals to their sports and wellness colleagues within their JCCs in order to better serve families with young children. Next slide. Through our partnership with Flag House, Kathy Chichester, who many of you out there know, told us about CATCH, the University of Texas School of Public Health, and an upcoming training in Iowa. From this training, Discover CATCH was born. Next slide. So Joy, Rich Joy Brand Richardson, the Associate Vice President and Director of Training, Mark Horowitz, Vice President of Early Childhood Education and Family Engagement, and I were trained as master trainers in CATCH. And then a year later, Mackenzie Noda joined us as our fourth trainer. In the original pilot, Mark, Joy, and I went to six different JCCs and did our version of the one-day catch training. We trained up to 35 professionals from early childhood, sports and wellness, and whomever else the JCC chose to include, including parent volunteers. The success was greater than anticipated. Once again, through our partnership with Flag House, we were made aware of multiple grant opportunities. The first came from the Jared Foundation. Everyone knows that Jared is the spokesperson for Subway and for Catch, but not everyone knows that he also grew up at the Indianapolis JCC. He helped secure funding for the JCC of Greater Boston in the pilot phase and former JCCs after that, including Indianapolis. Next slide. We were fortunate to receive a significant grant from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Florida to train all interested Florida JCCs. At this point, we had to change our model because we couldn't handle the demand from the field. Under the tutelage of Dr. John, also a familiar name to uh, these webinars, we went to a train-the-trainer model where each JCC would send up to five of their team to a single site where we would train up to eight JCCs uh, for, during a three-day training. And then one of us would travel to the individual JCC to help them implement the one-day training. And while allowing us to handle the growing demand, more importantly, it created a more sustainable model that allows the JCC to, con to constantly train new staff and retrain existing staff as we continually update the material. With two upcoming trainings in May and August, we are thrilled to announce that by the end of 2014, we will have over 50 JCCs trained in Discover Catch. The Florida training went so well that we were regranted by Florida Blue to train those JCCs not originally trained. Uh, but also to help fund those interested JCCs to take the program out to their community to help lower income and underserved populations, as well as similar partner agencies. And this is happening as we speak, and you'll hear more about that from one of our JCCs shortly. Next slide. We just finished our sixth cohort training made possible by a grant from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. And while we're always looking for funding to underwrite the cost of the training and the material, many JCCs choose to seek local funding or underwrite the cost themselves. One component of Discover Cash that will be helpful going forward is a survey taken by teachers and parents prior to the start of the program, the midpoint, and at the end of the semester, and the early returns have been very encouraging. None of this would have been possible without the assistance of the University of Texas, and not only were they willing to partner with us on this endeavor, they encouraged us to take the program and make it our, really make it our own. And now I'm going to turn the presentation over to Mackenzie to explain just what that means. Mackenzie? Okay, next slide, please. So most of us on the webinar today are familiar with the three main components of Catch Early Childhood, the physical activities, the nutrition and classroom lessons, and the family engagement piece. As Steve mentioned, the University of Texas School of Public Health generously allowed us to adopt the program for our JCCs. 
So we have added a fourth component and expanded on some of the others. Our fourth component is made up of the values in Jewish life that makes this program so relevant to the JCCs. Discover Catch is based on a set of universal values viewed through a Jewish lens, and we are deliberate in wording it that way because, again, JCCs are open to everyone. And while wellness and taking care of our bodies are essential values in Jewish life, the values are universal, universal and can be found in all cultures. Next slide, please. One way we've adapted the program is through a robust Jewish gardening curriculum developed at the Asheville JCC in North Carolina. The curriculum is a 40-page manual that includes 36 individual gardening lessons, parent newsletters, and take-home activities to use with children ages 2 to 5 years old. Each lesson is a comprehensive guide, complete with an object or a mitzvah to be taught, goals, materials needed, classroom discussions, and step-by-step -step action instructions. Gardening can be tricky, and it's easy to assume that in order to have a successful garden, you need lots of space and ideal weather. The good news is that the garden developed at the Asheville JCC has been a huge success and it's located in an urban area between two busy streets. It's important to note here that the Discover Cash program is not prescriptive. We aim to provide as many resources as possible and let the JCCs use what works for them. And you will, see, um, you will hear much better examples from the JCCs that are about to share their programs with you. Next slide, please. Another important component of our Discover Catch program is what we call the Taking at Home Connection. We've expanded the number of parent tip sheets and activities that come with the Discover Catch program to 27, and we make new parent tip sheets as often as we can. We think that these are a great resource because the ideas often come from our JCCs. At the trainings, we will somehow sometimes have JCC staff email us articles and resources right after a training session. And it's so important that the JCCs come up with these new ideas because they're the ones that understand um, what their community needs because, like Steve said, our JCCs are located throughout the U.S. and Canada. We've seen these parent tip sheets sent home in e-newsletters, distributed at parent nights, and even hanging on the walls in our JCCs. For our team, our JCC Association, one of the best parts of the Discover Catch program is to see all of the great work being done at our JCCs. While we are proud of the program on paper, it is the JCCs that are doing the work in the field that really bring it to life. We have representatives today from the JCCs of Greater Boston, the Shaw JCC in Akron, Ohio, the Mandel JCC in West Hartford, Connecticut, the Alpert JCC in Long Beach, California, and the Mandel JCC in Boynton Beach, Florida. They will take you through the exceptional ways that each of their programs are unique. And at this time, we're going to turn it over to Amy Stevens, and Dira and Audrey from JCCs of Greater Boston, and they're going to show you an example of their program. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so we are, this is Indira Hershkovich, and I'm sitting here with um, Amy Stevens, who um, were part of the Boston, uh, Greater Boston JCC, and uh, Amy's going to um, begin the um, slide presentation. <clears throat> next slide, please. So um, first, I'd like to talk about my role in the five sites in Boston. Um, three years ago, when uh, the CATCH program was introduced um, as a pilot program, I just dug right into it, and I, I was all about it um, because it relates to my own lifestyle So, and also kids, which I love, too. But um, um, a year after... The pilot program, I became the lead teacher of catch for all five of the sites in Boston. So pretty much I mentor, support, and encourage um, the program in all five of the sites, which is Brookline, Hingham, Newton, Sharon, and Wayland. Um, I support all the teachers, the preschool teachers, and now we're getting into the toddler teachers um, as the year progresses. And um, each Wednesday, I visit one of the five sites. And this is where I email the site I'm about to visit ahead of time and ask if there's anything specific that they would like me to prepare to guide them through um, their catch day. Um, for instance, one of the sites last week um, asked 
if I could think of some ways to incorporate Purim into their catch movement activities. Um, so I came up with a bunch of ideas for them and emailed them before I came to visit. Um, I also meet with the preschool teachers, if possible, during my t visit, and um, any catch crew members that are at that site. Um, okay, next slide. Next slide. Um, we This is in Diera, so I wanted to just uh, uh, focus on what we call here in Boston the catch crew. The catch crew is a group of uh, dedicated um, teachers who represent four out, out of our five sites here up in Boston. The catch crew are preschool teachers. Um, we get together with, these, uh, with this group twice a year, and um, we, um, we support, together the crew supports the teachers and the rest of the staff in each of their site. They are the liaison for the insight support throughout the year. And when we get together twice a year at this point, we're looking at increasing that to three times per year next year, is really to bring our sites together, to brainstorm together, to be able to support each other, uh, and to share ideas on how to continue to um, make this um, unbelievable program better and better and support all our sites. Um, next slide, please. We collaborate. Uh, it is an amazing team effort that we have between our health and fitness and our early childhood department. Um, Audrey Edwards is the director of health and fitness, and I am the um, site of the supervisor of the early childhood part. And we have teamed together throughout these three years. We continue to collaborate very, very well together. As you can see on the slide, we've just been we partnered at the uh, Wellness Expo that we just had about a month ago, where the early childhood um, table um, took the part of the nutrition piece of uh, Discover Catch. And as you can see in the picture, we had a wonderful popular table where we made um, shakes for um, over 800 people that were there at the wellness fair, and you can see that picture. So. The team effort of wellness and the health and fitness and early childhood is very, very strong up here in Boston, and uh, it really is a team effort. Next slide. I think we're done. But Okay, so this is what Amy had talked about before, which is the incorporation of the nutrition, exercise, and the Jewish values. Uh, this is what Amy had talked earlier about, a poem we just all celebrated, Purim, and we had put in the sample up here is how do we incorporate not only music movement on the slide, as everybody can see, as well as the nutrition ideas. And this is something that is sent out by Amy, initiated by one teacher at one site, and it's shared to all the five sites, to all the preschool teachers in all our five sites. Um, so this, um, so the the message is right, strong along all of our all of our sites up here in Boston. Thank you. Thank you, Indira and Amy. So next, we're going to hear from Stephanie davis Deringer from the Shaw JCC in Akron. Stephanie? Hi, this is Stephanie, the Health and Wellness Director from the Shaw JCC in Akron, Ohio. And I cannot begin to say how wonderful this program has been for our community and for our agency. Um, our early childhood education director and myself had been looking for several years a way to kind of break down the silos and integrate our two programs together. And when Steve Becker brought this program to us, this was the perfect marriage that we had been looking for for a long time. Um, so one of those ways, we had integrated it into our preschool, into our classrooms, using our garden, and we wanted to take it to that next level. So our early childhood education also supervises our day camp. So we merged together and came up with Discover Catch Camp, where it was implemented into our camp, day camp program for our grades, first grade through eighth grade. And we would do our Discover Catch Camp with those kids on a daily basis, starting out with our icebreakers, learning the language of catch vocabulary, studying the go slow and woe foods, 
why protein is important, using the language of the skitter scatter, the mingle mingle, the freeze, um, and adapting that for each grade or age level as they continue to grow through the program. Um, it was very successful. You will see one of our or several of our activities that we had done using yoga to really incorporate and get the kids active, moving, and being able to come up and transition and try new poses and expose them to different activities that they typically would not do throughout their normal school day or throughout their life at home. Um, it was a very, very large success to where we are actually going to do several more weeks of Discover Catch Camp um, this summer. We have more coming up, so it's very exciting. One of the things we also did with our Catch Camp, um, part of our camp curriculum, we do offer American Learn to Swim, Red Cross Learn to Swim lessons for all of our campers. So part of their camp day is also swimming lessons. We've integrated the catch program into the water. So as we're teaching the front crawl with those ice cream scoop arms, we talk about ice cream being a woe food and having it in moderation. And we actually put the poly spots or dots in the pool so they bob from spot to spot to really use the language and, and the verbiage in everything we do. So as these kids transition through our different programming here at the center, um, they have a cohesive environment to learn and grow from. Next slide, please. One of the things we also started three years ago, we did a family wellness expo using the Discover model of all 14 aspects of our wellness wheel. And one of the things our early childhood education departments and our after school or school age child care department did was integrate the catch programming into that event as well. Um, we had over 40 nonprofits vendors come in, and each of those vendors needed to do a, an active activity to engage the community. In a four-hour time frame, we had about 3,000 people come through our event to be able to see what we have to offer, as well as other community nonprofits. So one of the activities you can see our kids and one of our catch instructors is doing yoga and really giving the community a feel of what we do here. Thank you, Stephanie. Next, we're going to hear from Kathleen Jeans from the Mandel JCC in West Hartford. Kathleen? Hi, I'm Kathleen. I um, am our curriculum coordinator for our three-year-old preschool program here at the Mandel JCC. And I have recently um, been wearing the hat of catch coordinator um, for our preschool program. Um, so we have been very excited to implement this program into our JCC. We started off a couple years ago by having the preschool staff trained um, in the catch, um, but we also serve infants and toddlers here at the JCC. So we have since um, had those staff members trained as well so that they could implement it with the younger kids. Uh, when we first started doing this a couple years ago, the teachers were very into the physical activities. Um, using the verbiage in the classroom and really using a lot of the equipment um, where they were struggling with how to bring it into our curriculum piece. Um, but as you can see in one of these photos, the teachers really this year have taken off with incorporating it into our curriculum. These children are doing a sorting activity using Woe and Go Foods. Um, they also do this by color, sorting the Go Foods of certain colors, the Woe Foods of certain colors, um, and also with the parachute they've been using. Um, that and having the children recognize their colors and their shapes and what they're wearing and incorporating that into the physical activities as well. Uh, next slide, please. Um, we also do a lot of cooking here. So we've been taking uh, what we've learned from the CATCH program um, and trying to make healthy recipes with the children each week. These children are making carrot cake in this slide. And instead of using oil and butter, most of the classrooms have really started using applesauce in all of their recipes as a replacement um, and trying to teach the children about the woe and the go. And you know, it's OK to have the woe foods once in a while. But here in the classroom, we really try to encourage um, the go foods. We also are trying to make healthier Jewish foods. Um, this past winter during Hanukkah, 
when we're all making latkes and you can just smell the oil and all the frying, we tried to bake the latkes. Um, and they came out really good. So we incorporated that from the catch program. Um, we also have a community garden that we started here a couple years ago that kind of coincided with the catch and the children. Part of the program is donating half of the food that we grow to a local food bank, but we also are cooking with a lot of the food. So we started making things that we weren't making a couple years ago. We're making our own pesto. We're using the basil, the tomatoes, the peppers, showing the kids that that carrot that they bought at the store doesn't just come from a bag. It came from a garden. Um, so we're incorporating all of that. Uh, next slide, please. The children, the physical activities using the poly spots, the hoops, the bean bags, the children just love it. Um, they come in a lot most days and say, are we doing catch today? Are we doing catch? We had had the children, um, you know, have a designated time once a week when we first started. Now we're incorporating it every day. Um, you'll walk into a classroom during circle time and the kids will be doing yoga. Um, during music class, during gym class, um, the teachers are using not only the equipment um, for catch, but also the verbiage. Next slide, please. These children are doing a cooking activity with our cafe manager here at the JCC. We um, revamped our cafe that's located in the main part of our building this past year and hired an executive chef who has been great with coming over and doing cooking projects with our children. We're trying to bridge the gap between the ECC part of the JCC and the main part of the JCC and um, we're getting everybody on board to do that. We also um, have the parents coming in. We did one in the fall and we're doing one in the spring doing um, a catch open house just so the parents are able to see what the children are doing in the classroom. They, we send home newsletters quarterly. Um, they also fill out the catch surveys for the JCCA, but we want them to be able to take um, a hands-on approach to the activities with their children. Um, also with our wellness department, they host a family fitness class every Sunday in the winter months and are incorporating catch aspects into that as well. So it has been a great part of our program and we are so happy that we are able to do it with our classes. And that's all. So back to you, Mackenzie. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Next we have Natalie Chernick from the Alpert JCC in Long Beach, California. Hi, how's it going? I'm Natalie. I'm the youth teen and camp director here and I have Maureen Lawrence with me who is the movement and music specialist in ECE, as well as the point person for catch. Howdy. Next slide. So we just started our catch pretty recently. We did our training with all the EC staff at the end of January. But before we did that even, we really worked on getting buy-in from the entire building. So we did a full presentation with the executive director. And fortunately for us, he was very encouraging and really wanted to see this program thrive. So from that, he set up a meeting with the board of directors at their meeting where we got to present what CATCH was. So that way they're aware of what this program is and what we planned on doing with it within the building. From there, we presented it to our program staff as well as just all supervisory staff within the building at a regular staff meeting. And we did a big meeting with the parents also before we kicked off the program. So that way they knew exactly what the program was and what their role would be. And of course, getting the buy-in from the kids. So we, I know at least with the youth department, we told the kids about what this program was, all the fun we're going to have, about the language and all the great things they were going to do. Next slide. Uh, this is Maureen. And, um, in the ECE, <clears throat> it's, it's very exciting. Uh, it's been exciting for me personally, and it's been exciting to hear the children's excitement uh, as they're walking up and down the halls and talking with each other. They're discussing Go Foods and Woe well Foods. And every day, I have at least one or two parents coming to me, asking me about Go Foods and Woe well Foods and telling me how their children are educating them at home. Uh, as far as our gardening, this picture in the top left is one of our brand new gardening boxes because uh, in our playground 
we recently uh, had to remove any kind of former grass that we had because of problems with mud, etc. So we sort of had um, faux grass put in the astroturf. And so we've, as far as our gardening, we now have six of these big boxes that the parents themselves built for us. They, they got so excited about the gardening. We have a, a landscape architect as one of our moms, and she coordinated building of these boxes. And for each box, we have a different theme. We've got a butterfly garden. We have a sensory garden. We have a Judaic garden. We have a California-friendly garden. We have a fairy garden. And we have a fruits and veggie garden. And mostly the fruits and veggies are going to be in big uh, tubs that are going to be around the playground. And each classroom will be in charge of their own tub. And we have a watering schedule. So we have, we have 13 different classrooms here. And each of the teachers is excited about this program and are cooperating and are using the language. I'm hearing skitter scatter and freeze, one, two, three, hands on knees throughout not only the ECE, but the building of the JCC. Um, we, uh, the Discover Fitness Fun is once a week I meet with each of the classrooms for 20 to 25 minutes where I take them through the warm-up, the exercising, the uh, activities, the cool down, and they're all very excited about it. This particular picture was them leaning back to back and uh, partnering each other and mirroring each other's movements. Um, and I also have implemented a Discover Fitness Fun HOOG. We have our HOOGIM here, which is our after school programs for the children. So once a week, for an hour and a half, I have a specific number of children. And we discuss uh, the go foods and the woe foods. We do our activities. And this is where we are using our 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity, at least this once a week. Uh, I have them dancing. I discovered a wonderful CD that we use uh, through our local health department across the street. And I wanted to share this with all of you. It's called Shake It Up with Fruits and Veggies. Again, Shake It Up with Fruits and Veggies. It's a wonderful CD that uh, you can find on Amazon. Uh, and the kids are loving it because it has all different musical styles to it. Um, as far as our healthy snacks, it's exciting because the parents immediately jumped on board and coordinated through our ECE committee uh, a snack committee. And they created a whole new snack schedule for us. So they took out the Ritz crackers, and the kids are now eating healthy, low-fat wheat crackers. Um, we've got made sure that any juice that the children are drinking, which is basically only once a week for Shabbat when they have their challah every Friday, um, and it's 100% fruit juice. It's, there's no sugar added. Um, they've also incorporated more fruit, more vegetables. And we've tried to incorporate different vegetables, not just carrots, but we've incorporated more broccoli and snap peas. Uh, so that the kids can see the different colors of fruit. Um, I even, in my Discover Fitness Fun Hoog, did a chart where I showed them all the different vegetables, as many as I could find, and we did a, a survey of the children to see what they liked the most and what they didn't like. And in the Hoog, I had them do a taste test where I had fresh broccoli and cooked broccoli and had them compare fresh cauliflower and cooked cauliflower so they could see the difference. Oh, OK, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm getting the go. <laughs> the orchestra is about to start playing. Um, all right, and then uh, let's see. OK, so and then the bottom was just us doing Simon Says. So Next take it away, slide. Natalie. <laughs> Next slide. All right, so we also brought this program. Brooke, can, you can you hear me? All right. So we also brought this program up to our older kids that are in kindergarten up through eighth grade. By doing gardening with them, we did a pizza garden, so that way they grew all the toppings to their pizza. Um, we implemented healthier snacks, so they're having more 
fruits and vegetables, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes with hummus instead of just chips and salsa or whatever we used to do. One of the fun things that we've done also is with our enrichment classes that we do in our after school program, we brought in Discover Catch Nutrition, which the parents absolutely love. So it's really just teaching the kids all about the different types of food um, on like the myplate.gov, just the portion sizes, all that fun stuff. We started doing a program called Creative Spirit, which is about empathetic play, but we've moved the catch activities into that, so using the language cues from catch to incorporate that and using some of the catch activities. Next slide, please. So building wide, as I talked about earlier with getting the buy-in, we've really found that throughout the entire building we're hearing the language of catch. The staff joke around about go foods and woe foods, I'm constantly running into conversations about that. Down the promenade when the preschoolers are maybe running, the customer service staff will say freeze, one, two, three, hands on knees. So we're getting that everywhere, which is amazing. Another thing throughout the building, because our executive director was so involved with this, he gave us the authority to decide what type of food we want to have in the vending machine. So in the youth wing, we make sure that there's, or we're implementing that there's no candy, there's no sodas, there's no junk food. Same with back by the preschool. As far as the rest of the building, we're making sure that there's a certain percentage of healthy food in all the vending machines, and also making sure that there's no Mountain Dew or other really harmful drinks that are allowed. Um, and that wraps it up for us. Thank you so much, Natalie and Maureen. Next, we have Meg Nagel from the Mandel JCC in Boynton Beach, Florida. And this is one of the JCCs that um, they're currently in the process of phase two of our Blue Cross Blue Shield of Florida um, grant and taking it out to the community. So, Meg. Hi. Um, my name is Meg Nagel, and I have been a lead three-year-old teacher for the past several years. I have now integrated over to the other side of the main building to our children, families, and camp department, in which I'd love to get uh, another training going on over here and get our kindergarten through fifth grade children also involved in Discover Catch. Um, once we were trained, we were totally excited to come back to our JCC and tell everybody about it, our parents, our staff, Immediately we had our trainings done. Um, we trained our entire preschool staff, including our babies and toddlers teachers. Um, we figured that they could adjust it to fit the age groups and the needs of their children. We immediately implemented our catch into our JCC, our preschool classrooms, and our daily curriculums and schedules. We have a special room that we can reserve for catch times. Um, it's our activity room. Or we can also do it in our classroom. I used to do the yoga in the classroom um, when we didn't need such large of a space. But um, as on the pictures, you can see this is actually done in the classroom, and the teacher was making a um, obstacle course as the children can go over and under. And um, they've been creating these obstacle courses on their own, and we've also done it in the gym. We've also done the um, food, food surveys with parents and with all of the teachers. And the parents were really on board about the Woe Foods, Go Foods, and we implemented a Fruity Tuesday, um, which is when every um, family gets a turn on Tuesdays, they would provide a, a snack, a healthy snack, for the entire class. So instead of bringing in the regular cookies or cakes, they could bring in fruit, they could bring in cheese sticks, they can bring in a yogurt, something that would be healthy, and the children would love it. Um, we had someone even bring in a whole watermelon, and we made a whole lesson on how a watermelon looks on the outside, the colors on the inside are different, how to cut the watermelon about the seeds, and we even planted the watermelon seeds. We've also done a community garden as well at our JCC. We have two, or actually three beds in the front of our JCC, which have strawberries, um, the mini cherry tomatoes, smaller items in the front, and we have a full garden now out back. And the children planted from the very beginning. They were sifting the soil. They were watching the beds be built. Um, they planted corn, green beans, green peppers, cabbages. Um, they even planted pumpkins in fall. And they're looking forward to next fall when the pumpkins are um, now will be visible. But everything is growing wonderfully. And it's so amazing. We bring the kids out to water and look at the garden. And they absolutely love it. We also have Chef Rico, who comes in from New York once a week, 
and he helps our children go into the garden and pick the vegetables and um, cook with the children so they are making their own healthy recipes. Um, let's see what's on the next slide, please. Okay, so we had a very special kickoff. We had Jared Vogel from Subway come to our JCC, and um, you can see there's a picture of him. He was participating with the children. He participated in the yoga. He participated in the gym. He spoke to parents and children about his personal story and what catch meant to him. Um, it was a fantastic day. The kids loved it. It was, it was a great idea to have him come in. Um, let me see. Next slide, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, so finally, um, we have taken Catch out into the community, and we are beginning to train other preschools. The first preschool we trained was Green Acres Preschool, and we have another one scheduled for next Monday, and then we have two more scheduled for fall. Um, the, the other preschools are so appreciative of the program. They love the program. We went and visited them, and the kids love the program. The kids showed me when um, we visited at lunchtime, and they said, look, I have broccoli on my plate. So they are already starting to be aware of healthy and go foods, and that's, what's all, that's what it's all about. It's you know just getting them to be aware of what is going in their mouth and making better choices. Um, I think that's my last slide. Meg, that was terrific. And I want to thank all of our JCCs. Mackenzie and I were sweating this because this was California, New York, Connecticut, Boston, Ohio, and Florida. And you were all terrific. And we want to thank you all. And Peter? Oh, yes, I'll just echo that, Steve. And congratulations to all of you as well. Clearly having a significant impact not only at the sites but uh, in the communities um, that, you're, that you're working in. Uh, we love the gardening, and we actually had a question here about, um, uh, and I'm not sure how who's going to answer this, but um, just they're wondering. Sometimes it's hard to get the parents involved. How were you able to get the parents involved in in some of the gardening activities? And that question was for the uh, Albert JCC in Long Beach. If Natalie or Mo would like to answer it, have you just? <laughs> um, as far as getting the parents involved. We have, uh, we have our ECE committee, and uh, Shlomit Jackson, our Judaic specialist, and I, and, and, no, yes, and Natalie and Sasha, we're the, we're the ECE team here. We presented to our ECE committee, at which point we found out that this one mom was the landscape architect, and she just immediately jumped on board. And we also had a couple of moms who had already been questioning our snack schedule due to vegetarian and vegan requirements, et cetera, kosher. Um, so that's pr we pretty much just kind of fed it from there. But I think, I think, fed it. <laughs> but I think that um, our excitement just sort of spread to the parents. And uh, I think by having our parent meeting, that helped a lot too, because there were a lot of questions that night about the gardening and them having their own gardens and growing with their children. So I hope I answered your question. That was terrific. Yeah. Well, actually, we have another question about gardening, too. Um, do you have any plans for uh, the garden boxes? And uh, can they be available? Are they available to share? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sure that uh, I could get anyone in touch with the, the mom who coordinated it, because she just put together the committee and found the materials and um, we met with her and decided that the corrugated metal would be the best. Uh, and she pretty much spearheaded the whole thing, so I'd be more than happy to have anybody get in touch with her. And I know that she would be happy to share this information with anyone. Great. Maybe this is a question for Steve. Um, can we get a copy of some of the Jewish holiday games that follow the catch model? Absolutely. Uh, we actually, at the JCCs, have an internal website where we're sharing these ideas with the, all of our trainers uh, in, in Discover Catch, but I would be glad to share it with you. It's a, a question I had, um, talking about um, the, the taking it home materials. 
and, we, and the design for the parents and so on. H how have the parents responded to those? I would really want to turn it over to uh, our sites, but uh, we've been, uh, what we've heard already has been all positive, and they've each done it in their own separate way, how they choose to send it out to the parents. So I don't know if anybody out there would like to respond specifically to the question. Great. Thanks, Steve. And if there's anyone in particular you want to answer those questions, feel free to do it. Brooks is getting pretty good at this transferring up here with the mutes. Um, I would uh, offer it to Boston because I know okay. that they've been doing this for the longest. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Amy's on. We're here. Okay. So we're talking about the parents. Okay. So um, each year for curriculum night, when the parents come to each of their child's classrooms, um, I write an overall letter about catch and what it is and why we're doing it at our school. Um, I also make a display of pictures and documentations of what their children have been doing um, in the front lobby. And um, for each of my visits, after my visits, um, I take the rest of the time to email Easy Healthy Recipes um, at least two times a month. Um, but I, I try for more, or um, interesting articles on ch children's nutrition or exercise. Um, and in each of the classrooms, I, I make sure to document everything that I've seen to um, share it with all the other sites so they could share it with their parents as well. Um, and that's pretty much what we do for the parent involvement. Thank you. Another question on gardening that's very popular today. Um, did you all use grant money for the gardening activities? How, how was funding provided for that? Uh, we have not been able to access a grant yet, so we actually had some very generous donations from parents. But we are meeting tomorrow with one of the moms who is a grant writer, and she's going to help us to explore that. May I say something about the handouts, too, that I wanted to mention? Um, it, with my Discover Catch Hoog, I am sending a handout home every week, uh, and I've been sending them home pretty much once every few weeks to all the parents, the ones that we've got in the book, and the ones that I've got in the book, It's Fun to Be Healthy. Very good. We've got a question from Crystal, and she's asking here, uh, the kids love getting people uh, they see on TV and so on, and she's just wondering, is, what relationship has Jared got with the JCC community uh, and CATCH? Jared is the spokesperson for CATCH and, dis and also Discover CATCH. Uh, he's been working with Flag House uh, really almost since the inception of the program. He is passionate about this. And so we were fortunate to have a relationship with them that if a JCC would like to bring him down for a health fair like you, know, you saw earlier or the grand opening of one of the JCCs, then we can connect them to Jared. But he is, this is, is one of his passions. Great. Thank you, Steve. Um, thank you, Mackenzie. And, and thank you, everybody, for your time and sharing uh, all the wonderful things that are happening at your sites. Um, I love the support system, you know, the lead teacher, uh, the catch crew. I want to learn more about that, Steve. Um, you know, I think we've found over the time that if we've got support for folks um, out in the field, uh, we can do a whole lot more. Integrating catch into the community events, fantastic. I love catching them in the pool. Uh, as you know, we probably haven't, we're not too aquatic here, um, but uh, that's, that's a great concept and I love the way you've transferred the activities there. And, I wasn't sure whether poly spots could actually float or not, so uh, that's great. Uh, adjusting the catch um, activities uh, to fit into the, you know, the various curriculums uh, you have at each of the sites uh, is always a challenge. Uh, the various ways you're involving the parents, and I really like that idea of the Sunday family fitness classes. That, that's that's great. Uh, kids talking about Go Foods. I mean, that's like what you know. How do we know it's working? You know, you can actually see that observable change in behavior, and obviously as a result of the environments uh, that you've all been able to create. 
I'm going to chase down that CD, shake it up with our fruits and veggies. Uh, but just once again, uh, thanking you so much uh, for your time today and sharing uh, all, of, all the great things that are going on in the JCCs and Discover Catch around the country. It's very impressive, uh, Stephen, uh, what you've all have been able to do. It's a first class uh, initiative and whatever we can do uh, to continue to support you along the way, you know you've got our support. Thank uh, you so much. You've been a great partner for us and uh, again I just want to thank all of our JCCs because they're the ones that are doing it every day in the field. Great. Thank you all. Have a have a have a rest of have a lovely week. <laughs> the rest of the week, I'm tongue tied right now. But thanks again. Bye bye now.